the essence of but fearless leadership is it's very connecting. Yeah, so, it, what, of course, the, the given is that if you're going to be in a leadership role, you have to know the mechanics of the role. You've got to know what you're doing. But more importantly to that is what impact are you making with others? And that immediately becomes an emotional relationship question. So the very essence of what we work with are the fears. And time and again, the fear becomes the opportunity that gets transformed into being fearless. And there isn't a leader out there that is not surrounded by fears on a daily basis. And to change that from being something to be worried about to actually that's the opportunity to be fearless is the essence of the program. The first module is all about self-awareness. The second module will be more orientated towards team awareness and the third module towards a cultural awareness. So we're moving from intrapersonal to interpersonal to extrapersonal. And it's all entirely experiential, moving between one exercise, another, one sincere conversation and another. And every single conversation that we do is based in a real-time problem or issue that they're having at work. I think the key benefit is one of relationship, that in order to make powerful impact, and if you're in a leadership role, every powerful decision you make relies on the quality of relationship you have with the people you're working with. So right, from the, right at its essence, you cannot be a leader unless you have a follower. You cannot have a follower unless you have a relationship. When you have a relationship, you grow the followership and you influence the whole organization. Latest uh, research in neuroscience has shown that when people work with metaphor and image, that it activates parts of the brain that do not get activated by cognition. So what that means is that as soon as you work pictorially with people, they're using a different part of the brain. And that part of the brain is a relational part of the brain. So by using techniques from the arts, whether it's painting, whether it's poetry, uh, you know, whether it's uh, sketching and, uh, and, and, and various forms of performance and storytelling, yeah, we're actually using parts of the brain that do not get used with other activities. So when you're using those parts of the brain and looking at leadership issues, you're having a much more expansive, holistic and integral understanding of the issues. So that brings a different quality of response. What's available from working with the Fearless Leadership Programme from beginning to end is seeing how you can take an individual initiative, how it relates to your team and how it makes a difference culturally to the organisation. And you know it's success when those things that you don't know why they're happening begin to happen in a very healthy, warm way. And people begin to speak about the organisation in a very healthy, warm way because the ripples that go out from working fearlessly and working mindfully never end. And they continue going all the way out and then you can, and, and they come back to you again. So it's now more than ever do we use the unknown as a great tool for transformation.